Villanova has a high upside. He does. And when Villanova was competing for championships, he was point guard play at a premium. Mark Armstrong has the potential. He has to bring it each and every time, be more consistent. Your official for this evening, Pat Driscoll is your leader, Lamar Simpson and Tim Clockerty. Dixon Klingon in the circle in a series that dates back to 1987. A meeting in Philadelphia, UConn leads it 31-22 and has won the last three, including their first meeting of the season at Villanova. And the Huskies with the basketball. Here's Klingon. Newton down the lane on the kick. First shot of the game goes down for Castle. Stefan Castle, so talented. Freshman from Covington, Georgia. The confidence to now step up without thinking and knocking that shot has grown over the past month, month and a half. And what a value add when you have Castle able to knock in those shots. Dixon the other way, his first shot off the mark. And here come the Huskies in transition. Newton, number two, their point guard, is 6'5". NBA scout, really impressed with the way he's been playing. Transfer from East Carolina from a castle, Texas. Castle, Texas, Huffy. And Armstrong the other way. And I like the penetration to set Castle up, and that time, Justin Moore didn't overreact to force Castle to try to make it. Down the lane, T.J. Bamba, the Washington State transfer. Kyle Neptune in his second year, longtime Jay Wright assistant. He's learning as he goes. He's a very young coach. They had the rough patches, but he's coaching them up. They're getting better. Huge win in their last game at home against Buck. Well, I think people forget that Jay Wright himself had a learning curve when he took over for Steve Lapis. So it's the same thing now that the coach is going through. He has to understand it, but he's growing as a coach, and as a result, the program is going to players are playing much better. Villanova, after a rough pass, Wildcats have won four of their last five to keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive. In transition, no. They missed the easy one. Cam Spencer, Rutgers transfer. He's a sharpshooter. Good hand. Yeah, good good lateral foot quickness that time by Mount Bamba to get in front of Castle. Dixon taking Klingon off the bounce. Nice dream shake inside for his first buck. And that's where Dixon has the advantage on the perimeter to be able to attack Klingon, force him to play in retreat mode, and that's on excellent footwork as we know from Villanova. Newton three. three. Short. Loose ball. Rebound by Castle. They swing it. Newton reloads. Way short. Fling it inside. Rebound and stick back. Big foot. Great crowd on hand tonight, folks. 10,299. Another sellout at Gamble Pavilion. 14th consecutive. Now Armstrong. That one, rimming out for Hart. And two good looks that time. Really good rotation that time by Donovan Clinton to get out to the quarter. Obama to contest the shot. Villanova not able to cash in Gus on the offensive rebound. Castle, some feel that he's a top 10 NBA pick right now. Inside, Powell just to get a clutch. No, batted around. Tracked down on the baseline by Hart. Nova, one for seven to start. Dixon penetrating again, reverse layup, goes. Secondary break, transition. That time, Klingon was hesitant to come out. And you see why Dixon able to bump fake a little bit and get right up underneath Donovan Klingon. Here, Dixon coming out the 22-point, six-rebound game against Butler. He was six of 16. Cass. 
Caravan on the big euro now block by Bamba picked up clinging and a whistle traveling Bob in the first game Dixon Aaron did play as well as he wanted to great contest by Klingon but listen once you don't succeed try try again able to knock this in with the excellent footwork to get right past the big fella put it in you know what it is it's that huge gaudy national championship <laughs> ring that his son got you're looking at basketball royalty, folks. The Hurleys, kind of like the Harbaugh in football. Baseline, kill a pair. Back it up, picked up Newton, thought about it. New shot clock. And Samson with his hands active, able to tip it out. Another extended possession for UConn. UConn one for five to start from the three-point line. Eight to shoot for Newton. Caravan. Back to Newton. Pumps. Leads in, double pump. Tristan <laughs> Newton at 27 on Tuesday against Break. To go along with 12 boards, four dimes in 37 minutes, his seventh double-double of the season. And that's why the NBA scouts are salivating over this 6'5 point guard. Yeah, be, being able to make plays, shoot over an outstretched arm, but also to be able to set up offensively his teammates I guess you talked about the 27 points against Creighton we had 25 in the first game against Villanova and right here off balance good defense by Hart but better offense by Newton to kind of get his feet set square it up off balance just a little bit but still able to stroke it through talking to his coaches today Danny in particular he said the problem with Newton is that he's almost too unselfish. He's almost the kind of player that Coach Hurley wants him to take over more, realize how talented he is, and realize that in a sense, this is his team. It is, but here's the challenge when you have a player whose personality may not fit that is that they'll do it in spurts, where they'll be a little selfish in a good way to take over a game, but it's not as consistent. There are some players that are naturally more aggressive. Other players, like Danny Hurley talked about, they have to entice him to look for their offense a little bit more, and that seems to be the way Tristan Newton has operated since he's been here. From El Paso, Texas, Tristan comes from a military family. And Spencer trying to find his touch early on. Yeah, excellent box out that time. He had three Villanova players feeding the paint, bodies on bodies. Hazard is checked in for Villanova. Where's number one? Bomba finger roll. Got it. Turning the corner hard and high gear. Well, how about this? Six points right now in the paint. Villanova, despite not having the size, able to win the battle of the paints in the first game in Villanova, 26-24. So that says something about the game plan versus this UConn team. Level at eight, Newton. Johnson. Caravan. Skip pass. Diara. Five to shoot. Caravan from the parking lot. And Bravo with the ball. Wildcats can take the lead right here. This could be a huge win for Villanova. Quad one. Bravo. Him downstairs said, we can't have no milk and cookies. <laughs> and Samson right there in the perfect position to take a step over, wait for it. But good defense by Newton to kind of dissuade Bamba to get it. But the play before, wrapped around the court, and Samson, big fella, just a little bit too late. And the miscommunication opened it up, opened it up for Bamba with the left hand to get a little cookies on that one, guys. Samson Johnson's been having a problem staying out of foul trouble. Let's see how long he can stay on the court for this one. And a turnover, no, a timeout called by Nova. All right, February is Black History Month. The Big East is partnering with the Black Five.
Stripes Foundation honoring the pre-NBA history of African Americans in the sport of basketball. Simon did a biography on it and talked about how Roscoe mentored him when he started to play for the Globe Truck. So he taught Metal Arc Lemon how to be the rhetorician of basketball. Exactly. <laughs> Love it. Pull up jumper. They say he's one of the best shooters in Villanova history. That went out of bounds, and Connecticut will get it again. But this is the pace at which Villanova feels that they can operate, in particular on the road, because they're extending the defense out, forcing UConn to be a jump shooting team. They're not turning the basketball over, which is not allowing UConn to get out and run. So offensively, UConn hasn't gotten the rhythm. So Villanova early sticking to the defensive game plan, and it's working. UConn three heavy to start tonight with two for eight. Connecticut shoot at 36 percent. Snoop trying to create six to shoot down the lane on the wheel. Made away. Short. Moore with the rebound. Justin Moore finally healthy. He's been a struggle. Achilles knee. Pull up jumper inside. Used his timing there. Got that one up and in. Nova's first lead of the game. I love it, but back in the paint, guys. That's how you control tempo. That's how Justin Moore got that big body downhill in transition. No one stopped him early. Made a pay. Castle. Pull up. Mid range. Stefan Castle with five points on two or four shooting. And that may be the formula for UConn, I guess, to attack early before the Villanova defense is able to get set. Now the gaps are open, and Castle had a little bit more room to operate one-on-one -on -one and was able to finish. Justin Moore backs it up. Under 12 to go. Here's a pick and roll with Hawson. Moore crosses over down the lane, uses the body, cut off. Now on the floor, Burton pulls up inside, and no good. Newton clears it. Diagonal pass, Diara. It's dropped up, down, up, Samson Johnson got it to fall. Beautiful ball movement by the Huskies. And beautiful one-on-one -on -one defense by Castle. And Diara, one-on-one -on -one to its finest, which allowed the UConn Huskies to get out in transition and convert with Samson inside. Got an old-school Big East game tonight, folks. Connecticut, Villanova. Seven to shoot. Bamba, pull up three. Castle the other way. This crowd ready to go crazy. Deep J. The out of bounds, traveling. And it looks like it will be Villanova basketball. Gus, you said an old school Big East basketball. You get a stop, get out and run, finish inside. Samson able to get it inside. It's going to be a tough battle. Castle is ready to go to war, baby. All you've got is this moment. 21st century's yesterday. Stan, this is hard. You're going against Rick Patino, Coach McDermott, Coach Cooley. I mean, just the killers. Shaka. Bad motto. Bad motto. And he's young. Only his third year as a head coach. Got to give him some time replacing a legend. And Jay did lead without point guard, by the way. <laughs> and I know you're watching, Jay. Yeah. Very smart. Here's Dixon. Trying to turn off Klingon. Left hand floater. Off the heel. Yeah, Spencer but, with the board. Yeah, but Dixon's not going to win that battle. He's trying to straight post up against Klingon. The height and the length is too much. If you can get him out, get Klingon moving, that's with Dixon. As we saw earlier with his earlier drives, has the advantage. Here's Klingon. Lost some weight during the season. His coaches wanted him to slim down, get in shape. Taylor Stewart in the game with the ball right now. Picked up this drip. Four to shoot. The has got a hurry. Leads in. Double pump. Off the glass. No. Dixon there. And he just snapped. It's a one-on-one -on -one defense that time by Villanova. To force a tough shot of Dixon. Did the rest by cleaning up that defensive board. And Diara called for the foul. They reached in from behind on Hawson. They are nervous about Hawson. During their shoot around, 
this afternoon. They spent a considerable amount of time, Connecticut, game planning for Hawson because of his ability to catch and shoot. Well, five straight games, he's been in double figures. So those five games, Gus, field goal shooting 54%, 22 for 41. 53% from behind the arc, averaging about 13 and a half points a game. Reason to be concerned by the super bench player being very productive. We asked the coaches, how did Hawson end up with Villanova? They said, hey, he called us. Thankfully, Dixon three. Inside, Kling in great position, jump hook down. How simple can it get when you're 7-2? And that time he had the assistance. When they were running down court, he was able to get Eric Dixon off balance. Dixon hit the floor, presented an open opportunity for Klingon to get an easy one inside. 6-0 run for UConn. Klingon with four. Hawson running. Dixon. Diagonal. Block by Klingon. Out of bounds, UConn basketball. Well, a big fella playing defense like this, you got to reward him inside here. That time, feet get tangled up, so what? Not my fault. Give me the rock inside and let me finish. And the quick decision, Castle inside, keep it up. Clean, clean and able to get it inside in this one. Eric Dixon, you got to use your right hand, big fella. If not, you're taking the ball right back into the space where Clinton can be effective. There's a reason why he's second in the Big East in shot blocks per game. Now some pressure by Villanova. Three-quarter court. Broken easily. They'll start their offense with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Spencer, been quiet so far. Bamba's really up on it. Castle, nine to shoot. Top of the arc. Rick. Armstrong. Speed dribble into the front court. In traffic. UConn getting back on defense. Armstrong. Baseline. Kicks it out. Dixon. Baseline jump shot. Another rebound for Newton. He's got triple doubles on his resume. Tristan Newton. Fisher's doing a great job. Pat Driscoll, Lamar Simpson, Tim Clockerty. Letting him play. Not a lot of fouls. CYO. Run clock. Spencer. Kill it. Largest lead of the game for Connecticut. That time a little too much space. A team hard game to Cam Spencer. 9-0 run for UConn. And they're on their feet. In the basketball capital of the world. Dangerous period here for Villanova. They need a bucket. That's not the one you want. Dixon, two for ten from the field. Clinging. Nice roll for the third now. Bomber the other one. Now Dixon with Spencer on. That's a mismatch. Bomber. Hezzy. Got it up and stops the bleeding. And that time, Klingon had to dart back out that left and lane open. And what a patient play that by Bamba to get Newton up in the air. And we get another point in the paint for him. CJ Bamba transferred from Washington State at five points against Butler on Tuesday in their win. Newton, pick and roll. In the corner, wide open. And that went off the mark for Stewart. Offensive rebound, Nova. Good action. Play it. Eight to shoot. Tightly contested game. If you give Cam Spencer too much space, you're going to take all three of these. And you're facing them. DJ Bob, but not to beat the not able to get the easy two inside to cut into this lead. Riley from Riley. Is she 
Well, I, I think I'm answering answer. Just it's for an African. But it's a rhetorical question. I know the answer. She's what? the biggest thing in college basketball. No, I think for me, in terms of my 35 years as a broadcaster, but she's the greatest college basketball player I've ever seen. In what terms? She's the greatest college basketball player I've ever seen. I've never seen a player score the way she scores, passes the way she passes for her team at this particular point in her development. And I had Steph Curry, had all of them. Seen all of them. She had 49 in the college game. I get that. So did Pistol. So did I said Mahmoud. who I've seen. I know, that's what I'm saying. My mood, I do. It's a lot. I mean, I love Cheryl Swoop saying that Kayla Clark is going to have her money and work cut out for him in the WNBA. That's going to be fun to watch. But she is, but she, like any other great athlete, you see a great shot and great play by Justin Moore to get that shot. She'll make the adjustments once she gets there to understand the speed, the physicality, and how she can then incorporate her game. Once she gets her feet wet, then the Caitlin Carp will be able to play her game. But it takes time for anybody making that kind of leap. I don't care if it's men or women. She had 15 assists from Hannah Schultz. He had 40 points for All right, All right, back to the men. Spence, top of the yard. Got it. To the can. Starting to heat up now. And that time, it was really good defense. But Cam, even though his shoulders weren't square, that arc and that high release was able to get it up and over, falling backwards, the concentration in place, able to knock another one in. He shoots 44% from the three-point line. Armstrong the other way. And he gets into the act, knocking down a shot to make it a 21-17 to 17 game. Well, that could be a difference. If Armstrong, who through January had some games about three games span of averaging 17 points a game, does it. If he does that, this is a different Nova team offensively. Got to find a rhythm. Spencer again. Reaches the screen. Baseline, Castle on the stage. Justin Moore with the rebound. Bomber running hard up the lane. Moore with space. The kick. Bomber. Yeah. By Castle. Newton. Spencer's on the way. He finds Castle. And five. Nice look by Tristan Newton. But he looked at Cam Spencer because the defense came to that side. Now watch Cam Spencer when he comes off this pick. Now he's going to be patient to allow this to go. Now he's coming over the top. That extra dribble and that hesitation allowed him to clear just enough space to get it up and over Justin Moore. Five block shots so far for Connecticut tonight. Well, they can because they're long and they can get it from different positions, Gus. And that's what makes this team so tough when you're talking about making a repeat appearance in the national championship game. They had this positional size that can guard throughout the court. Tristan Newton. Second year at Connecticut after three at East Carolina. How about you go from East Carolina to Connecticut and win a national championship? And you're the catalyst for one of them. It was all about decision making, right? <laughs> I think that was a real good decision. And it even took Tristan Newton some time to figure out his role, but the team and whole hit their stride once they, later in the season, they lost in the Big East tournament, but once they hit the tournament, got out of the conference, they just took off. Bob. Bob, zero. And the whistle. Foul on the floor coming up. Against Cam Spencer, if you would have had the Euro step when you played in college, I know it would have been a whole different game. And at that time, it was tough for you to drag any foot right. without it being a trap. Mm -hmm. But now that extended step you can take allows you to do so many more things. But the important part with that, Gus, is when you do it, you better have some strength in your legs to have that balance to get your shot up afterwards. Thank you, Manu Ginobili. Yep. Brought that to the NBA. Brought that to basketball in the States. At ball block. Six blocks now for Connecticut. New to Spencer. Caravan couldn't get there. Out of bounds. Not a good pass by Tristan Newton. Fourth turnover.
for Connecticut. However, the defending. Now, last year and this year, he's utilized that as a weapon to open up everything else in his offensive arsenal. You know why? Talk to me. It's time to get paid. Hey, you know it. You got to prove you can shoot it. That's right. You can shoot it with consistency. 23-17, Villanova trying to attack the basket. Hakeem Hart can't get there. Spencer the other way, a three. Bring it up for Cam Spencer, who's turning up to be a killer in this first half. Nine points, all three. Jackson back to the basket now, draws a double. Largest lead of the game for UConn. Armstrong. Forces his way to the cup. No. Johnson with a big rebound. Newton in transition. Coughs it up. Ahead. Bamba. And here comes Joe Tate. Damn. Two hands. And that's why you don't give up on the play. That time Tristan Newton wasn't aware who was behind him. Able to tip it and get an easy basket back. A much needed basket that time by Villanova. Wildcats got to figure out Cam Spencer. He's been lighting them up from outside in this first half with nine points, three threes. We're on the baseline now. Spencer calling for it. Johnson. Five to shoot. Skip pass. Caravan. 2.13 to play first half. No, trying to keep this one close. A win here would mean everything. Top of the arc, bottom. Baseline Armstrong. Pulls up. Here comes Spencer. But Armstrong hesitated on the first shot, guys. Tristan Newton, so smooth, so relaxed, so confident, so talented. 29-19, Connecticut. They're number one in the nation for a reason. But you understand why this team is such a difficult team. You were sending me a message when you had to sit at the table. But I know this, is that when you're a complete team, it's hard for you to find some subtleties that you can take advantage of. Villanova found it early by moving quickly, and UConn has kind of countered that. Justin Moore backing his way in and a whistle. Foul coming up against Tristan Newton. And that's what makes this Villanova program so special. What Dan Hurley told me yesterday, uh, today rather, when I talked to him, he said, what Jay Wright did more than anything, he made you play defense with your chest, and he would make his guys jump stop when they got inside. Well, that was huge. Played off two feet. And he inverted his guards where now the bigs were out of the lane, so you had more room to operate one-on-one. -on -one. And the guards were so fundamentally sound and skilled that they did a lot of the paint work. Papa. Five to shoot. Step back. Six it. Got it away and hits as the clock expires. That's a big bucket, 29-21. Never a doubt, Dixon got it. He identified exactly how much time was left on the shot clock. No hesitation. He's got eight points off three of 11 shooting. Guarding Klingon now. Caravan. Spencer trying to free himself, looking for that jump shot. Eight to shoot for Castle. Newton. Step back, mid-range. Yeah. Tristan. Newton. Gave him a little skinny and stepped back and hit the J. Got him. He may be slight of frame a little bit, but his balance is very good, especially when he's initiating contact to get a shot out. Ten point lead for the champs. Moore draws a double. They swing at baseline. Bamba rising fire. Strong. Save is going out of bounds by Newton. Spencer the other way, seven to shoot. Spencer, pick and roll. Baseline, Castle, got it up, no, and a foul. Is that a foul? No. Nope. That is the end of the first half. With the score, start of the second half. Nova with the basketball. Moore the inbounder along with Armstrong. Hart, Dixon, and Bamba.
Dixon. Facing up on Klingon. Takes him into the paint. Dixon, a three. In and out. Newton the other way. Spencer, deep. Short. I know we got away with that deep in hand, Spencer Oaks, but I like the offense. Right there, you're getting some open looks for Villanova, not just able to knock it in. Dixon twice had the look. Dixon is 3 of 13 from the field. Turn around, jump shot, Newton off the front rim. Armstrong in and out, dribble to the basket, gets to the hole, and rims up. Those are the baskets when you're struggling to figure out ways to put the ball through the net, guys, that you got to make, in particular when you have some freeze looks. At the rim, and Klingon is not clogging up the paint. Villanova shooting 27% from the field. Klingon the other way, and he's fouled. And Donovan Klingon will go to the free throw line. How do you score against this team? With ball movement side to side, that's when the gaps are open. Can you get out in transition? Get some easy basket. More importantly, too, can you get yourself to the free throw line? Kind of ease the burden off of your half court set. Klingon missed five games in late December, early January with a foot injury. Three things you need to know is Sports Hero is the big man. Shaq, favorite current athlete, the Joker. Occupation, if not hoops, a fisherman. Maybe the tallest the fisherman tallest. in the history of angling. Uh, yeah. Hey, can you see him out there fly fishing? <laughs> I've been a fishing guy. My father used to take me. Too many mosquitoes. Nah, we gotta go out to the ocean, bro. Woo! And do some deep sea fishing. That's nice Michigan. Right. We got lakes out there. You don't know about that. Right. I'm right there from Lake here. It's uh -huh. a ball, man. Stop it. Here's Justin Moore. Drops it. Off the glass. Short. Another missed opportunity that side inside the lane that can lead to a basket. Castle three. Oh. Out of bounds. And it's Nova Ball. It's Nova has had shots. Yep. I wouldn't say that it's the Connecticut defense that's really standing out as much as Villanova just missing shots. Well, sometimes though, the defense forces you to rush a little bit more. That time Justin Moore didn't have his balance. He tried to get the shot up before the defense can recover. So, in essence, sometimes the pressuring defense of blocking shots forces Villanova to rush the shots a little bit. Dixon driving, and this time... He goes right to the basket and banks it down. Creighton shot 55% against Connecticut when they beat him in Omaha in their last game. 33-23. Spencer winning on the road is a tough task with the Big East Conference. Caravan, six to shoot. Inside, swing in great position. Drop step, left hand jump hook. But without hesitation, Tristan Newton knew exactly where Donovan Klingon was at, guys. As soon as the ball got in his hands, you could see the front of Klingon's jersey. Guess what? The ball was sitting right to him. Nine points for Klingon on three or four shooting. And that's the coordination, the connectivity between the two. Bamba and one. DJ Bamba. Trying to cut this lead to nine. If Bamba can get that big body around the defense, now remember, you got Klingon lifted, so you don't have a deterrent inside. Again, when Klingon is lifted, this is what we saw at the start of the game, was Dixon on the perimeter, a pump fake, a dribble or two, he was able to get himself to the basket. Talking about the big body with T.J. Bamba, he's 6'5", 215, adds the free throw. Nine-point lead for Connecticut. One thing Villanova is very proud of as of late is the improvement of their defense. Let's see if they can allow their defense to get them back into this game. Spencer, rise and fire. For the game again. He's got 12. 38-26, no answer. I tell you, Dan Hurley's running some great stuff to get Spencer open. Go think about what he did for Hawkins last year as far as getting him open on the weak side when the ball swung kind of similar to what you see with Dan Spencer and his open opportunities. Dixon squatting down on the box against Klingon. 
Trying to take him into the hole off the glass. No, Bounded around Klingler with the two-hand rebound. Spencer the other way. The kick. Newton down. Tap. Now Bamba, head of steam, hard in and out to the cup off the glass with the left knee, and good. Beautiful transition that time. You get the stop, and again, that's how you can attack this UConn team in transition when they're backpedaling. Now you have the space to be able to exploit that, and Bamba able to finish. UConn is led by as many as 12. Bamba with a team high 11. Pick and roll, Spitzer. He's got 12 already, 4-3. Baseline, stolen away, Armstrong, racing, ahead of the field, straight to the hole, wham, with the right hand. And Villanova cuts it to eight. Castle, quiet offensively, as of late, Caravan, brick. Armstrong the other way. They leave it. Dixon, deep three. Eric Dixon hits the bottom of the well. And that makes it a 38-33 game. 13 points for Dixon. He's one for six from the three-point line. Time out. Connecticut. Dan Hurley, not happy. He's let his guys have it. That's because Villanova's on a 7-0 run. But it starts in track. The makings of a program, the culture resetting is all right there with Shaheen. 38-33. Connecticut, however, Villanova starting to find themselves a bit on a 7-0 run. Defense starting to stiffen. Spencer. Got his man in the air. Tough shot and hit. And, and Cam Smith's proving a lot more that he's just not a three-point shooter. That's on excellent defense and helped by Eric Dixon. But the patience of Cam Smith allowed the defense to kind of pull back. He was able to pull up for a nice little eight-foot jump shot. He has 14. Now more. Guard by Newton. Hauls it. Pops it up. Diara. Nova's first turnover tonight makes it a 42-33 game. And a costly one because momentum was on the side of Villanova. Then you give up two plays Good point. back to back to your home team. And guess what, Gus? You get the crowd back and forth. 16 foot on Gino, and it's good. Well, Gino's been battling injuries this season. He's missed three games because of injuries. His first bucket tonight. Diara. Up top, Caravan D. Moore the other way. Moore, baseline turn. Got it. Tough shot. The, the beauty about Justin Moore is this. Before the injuries, he would have been to the basket in transition. But because he doesn't have the same speed and explosiveness, now he has to re rely on being savvy. And that time, he took his time on the baseline, able to knock in that turnaround jump shot. j -Mo with seven on three or four shooters. They've got to figure out Spencer, though. He's been killing him. Baseline. And he can tell you. Killer. Hey, when you got the Jimmy from outside, that opens up the drive. And Cam is able to get to it. And I know you love Killer Cam because he's one of the best transfers in America. Paying off big time for UConn. When you got a Jimmy, you got to respect it. But when you can put it on the deck, you pick up fouls and one the old-fashioned way. And this, let me ask you. You're using head and shoulders, right? Only when I see flakes. Then I switch back to my regular shampoo. You should use it every one. In the, in the Raptors, the first thing I start thinking about is my teammates. Because there's no way I get there without my guys. I'll never forget talking to Coach Calhoun one time, and he was telling me about you. He said, yeah, you know, Rip was thin. <laughs> so when he got here, other teams tried to hand check him a lot. So I taught him how to take his knuckle and jam it into the hand of anybody that had his hand.
an arm grip tip. Yes, yes. You had great coaching, is what I'm no, saying. No, great coaches, and he taught me mental toughness. Because in this game, especially in the Big East at the time, you had to be mentally tough. So each and every night, I was inspired. I knew that I couldn't go out there and, and, and play soft. So uh, he was a big part of my success. He was a bigger part, too, also, in making decisions. It's a sophomore year, you thought about coming out. Mm -hmm. But he brought you in. Had the board ready <laughs> on why you needed to come back. Big East Player of the Year, yes. National Championship, Legacy, all those things. Yes. What did that mean to you at that point for him to kind of put you in the space where you had to think about that but now you're a legend here at Utah? Yeah, absolutely, Jim. I mean, the one thing that he told me was like, if I do come back to school, because I was thinking about leaving after my sophomore year. Right. But he was like, hey, man, you got an opportunity to be two-time Big East Player of the Year. You get a chance to, um, to, to get close to the scoring record. But also, if you come back, we're going to win a national championship, and you will be the Michael Jordan of college basketball. A young kid hearing that from a Hall of Fame coach, I'm like, Coach, where can I sign up? <laughs> where can I sign up? I'm not going anywhere. Right. Wow. Unbelievable. So what is going on with you now in life? I know you won not only a national championship here, yes. then you went on to win a world championship with the Detroit Pistons. I'm from Detroit. Thank you okay, very much. Absolutely. That. Yes, sir. Uh, what's going on with you now? Oh, first of all, I watch you guys all the time. I'm always texting Jim when y'all on the telecast asking questions about college basketball. But for me, it's just hanging out with the kids. Uh, I brought three of my kids here, Deuce, Parker, and Peyton. They're here in the gym right now. And for my boys to get to, to feel this atmosphere, I tell them all the time about how great the fans are here in, at Gamble Pavilion. Now they get a chance to experience it themselves. So it's one of the moments that I get to spend time with my kids now. Uh, I'm big on entrepreneurship. Uh, hopefully one day I can buy one of these G League teams. That's what I'm thinking about right now because the game has meant so much to me, and I want to do my job to give back to the younger generation. Well, let me ask you this. Do your kids really know how good you are? Nah. <laughs> they just know you as dad. They don't. They just know me as dad. Like, <laughs> but here's the question. Can they beat you yet? No. <laughs> and they will never win. <laughs> Rip, Bro, thank you so much. It, no, Congratulations. I appreciate it. Hey, listen. Coach Hurley is still stout. He got them big hands. Oh, thick, yeah. Thick hands. But you think about the legacy in the family. Bobby winning at Duke. His father from the National High School Championship perspective. And now Danny. I mean, they all sit at the table. They can share commonalities of what it means to be national champions in their own respect. For those of you that don't know, it's Bob the basket, got it up, and he's fouled to go to the line. For those of you that don't know, Dan Hurley's brother is Bob Hurley. Bobby Hurley, and he played at Duke as an All-American and national champion for Coach K, and he's now the head coach at Arizona State. They'd like to get him back oh, in yeah, this area of the country. Big East. I mean, it'd be great to see him back. Think about this. They covered again. Coaching from that perspective and playing. And Bobby came out of high school. We were the class of 89 together. And when you talk about some of the greatest you see point McDonald's guards. All yes, he was. That year. If you talk about some of the greatest point guards to ever play the game in the college basketball, you can't omit Bobby Hurley, but he was able to accomplish during his years at Duke. Five-point game. Villanova fight on the night where they retired. Rip Hamilton, number 32. Newton, will his number be retired one day? He's got a national championship in his hip pocket. Kevin Cam up top. He's kicking ball. 20 points. Connecticut basketball. 
This instant replay brought to you by Fisher Investments. Clearly different money. Cam Spencer. What makes him so tough is his versatility on how he gets a shot, whether that's catch and shoot, we're seeing him go off the dribble. Of course, if you're late to the party, he's going to make you pay. The experience allows him to get open. He's not going to outquick you, I'll jump you. But what he's going to do is outsmart you in order to get his shot up and over some tough, some tougher defenders. Spencer again. Takes the ball. Killing him. 22 points on 8 of 11 shooting. But watch this. It, not blow by. Uses the screen. Allows Klingon to set it. Initiates the contact with his right shoulder. The upper body strength right there. The concentration. Eyes up on the rim. He makes this shot. That's a difficult one. Look quite easy. And Spencer showing his versatility, hitting the two-point shots as well. Especially when you consider he's second in the Big East to Xavier's Quincy Olivari, ninth in the nation at three-point shooting percentage at 44. What a game. On the night, they retired Rip Hamilton's number. Lead is 11. Armstrong turns the corner. Left hand, too strong. Castle has it poked away. Inside, clean it up and in. Now you got starting to put it on him. 8 0 run. Largest lead of the game. Time out, Nova. To come on back home. Come on back home. Come on back. I mean, this college atmosphere right now, I mean, it's amazing. And it feels like the old Big East rivalries, especially once you get to March, you get into the Big East tournament. That's special, man. Huh. Leads in. Spencer pulls it down. Caravan rises. Up and a foul. Gus, the presence of Donovan Klingon forced Hart to take his eyes off the rim and miss that shot. Foul called on Armstrong is third. And that will send Hassan Diara to the line. Texas a and transfer senior. He's from Queens, New York. Second year at Connecticut, first one goes. As subs come in and out for both teams. Diara, great all-around game versus Marquette last Saturday. 14, six assists, five rebounds, three steals. Danger zone for Nova. 10-0 run by UConn to answer Nova. 7-0 run. And Villanova turns the ball over. And they gave it back to him and said it's going off of Castle's foot. Let's see. Yeah, they're pointing down. Keep this in mind. Now, UConn has 55 points. The games in February for Villanova, why they've won four out of five, is that they've held teams to 55 points. It shows you how dominant UConn can be at home. Again, they only had 65 points or so in the first game. And when you talk about this Connecticut defense, Dan Hurley runs a terrific defense. He said that's the reason we've been successful. I guess we he learned it from his dad. And he tweaked it a little bit to kind of fit the college game enough that it could be effective. But again, it's about recruiting. You have to recruit players that kind of fit the profile of how you're going to play. That makes the transition to teach it a lot easier. Not easy, 
but a lot easier for them to comprehend. The hour the other way off the pitch and miss. Easy does it. 57 to 40, 12 0 run. And a foul coming up. The quick attack, push it up. That's what Tristan Newton can do for you. He doesn't always have to initiate it, give it to your teammate, allow them to make it a make a play. And speaking of which, Bamba had bad intentions that time. And when you're attacking the paint against UConn and you see Klingon coming, you got to go up and try to dunk it. Bamba. At the line, first would go, goes rather for the Washington straight, State transfer. Three things you need to know is occupation, if not who. Model, I can see that. Dream date, I have to top of dinner. He didn't say the name. First trophy, he's a soccer player. What you're saying is Bob is in the mirror, bicep curls. That's right, the <laughs> eye for the other one. Hey, double pop, rocking the cradle, goes down. UConn making a statement, the number one team in the country, at least for today. Tomorrow that could change on a 14-1 run. Make it Monday that could change. Dixon. Bamba again. Klingon takes it out of his hand. I guess who? Klingon totally took away that drive away to Bamba. Fifty nine forty one. Hawson looking for that jumper. They kept it in check the entire day. And Juan Hart got to the cup caravan. Fouls him with the body. Well you know First one field thing. Goal. Well you know one thing is Villanova team is not going away. No quiet. They're gonna try to push the pace and try to get back in this game. It's tough sledding. And Dan Hurley reached the top of the mountain last season, winning the national championship with Connecticut. There's his beautiful wife, the architect, Chris, sitting next to Coach Hurley. Now, I was kidding with him. I said, that's where all the talent, the good look, and the brains come. And, probably and I said, Coach, what did they get from you? He said, well, both my sons are bow legged just like me. <laughs> I've never seen a uh, bow legged guy that wasn't a good athlete. Right. But talk about a good athlete. How about the numbers Tristan Newton has put up tonight? Eight points, 12 rebounds, eight assists, and two turnovers. He's 6'5". Well, but that's what point guards do. And to be effective is how you run your team. Now he gets another rebound, 13 rebounds. So he's able to control tempo and beat you without necessarily scoring. But he's setting his team up for ultimate success, like you see right here. He's got three career triple doubles. Newton on the polo stick. He finally missed one. Lose out of bounds and will head the other way. And there's still time in this game. Can Nova cut into this lead? We're down 16. Can you cut it down to eight with maybe four minutes left and make this a venturous? Now, you can't have empty possessions. Their best offense has been quick hitting plays that open up opportunities to drive, especially with Klingon out of the game. Deep jumper. Off the side of the back. No Hart gets his own rebound off his miss. Pull up jumper. Short. And the rebound goes to Samson Johnson. He's done a great job staying on the floor tonight. And staying out of foul trouble because he's fouled out in two of his last six. Four fouls two other times. Johnson. Newton. Newton, quick release. Off the back rim, no. Looking for double digits and points. Newton. Inside. Drop step. Hard. The kick. Well, you know, they just not shoot it well. 12% from the three-point line. But how about Tristan Newton helping in on Akeem Hart, forcing him to pick up his dribble, and then on the outlet back out, 
he was able to contest the shot. That's multiple efforts on the defensive end championship type basketball. They're two for eight from the three point line. Two for 18, excuse me. Meanwhile, Philip Cam again. Man. 542 to play. 61 43. That one will rattle home for Akeem Hart. Well, even on that shot, Gus, even though it went in, it's still the degree of difficulty was tough because of the presence of UCAP and nobody able to finally get one in. Here's Newt. Close to a triple double. He needs two points and two assists. The handoff. That's all he needs one assist. And two points. Tristan Newton with five minutes to go. Sixty-four forty-five. The kick. Dixon another three. And good. For golfers. That time you sunk the defense below the free throw line with the dribble penetration and that opened it up for a shot for Eric Dixon. The problem is can you get enough stops here on the defensive end to really allow your offense to cut into the lead? I'd like to see if Newton can get this triple double. He needs one assist and two points with the ball now. That one deflected, picked up, cast the lob. Johnson foul from behind. No, Tristan Newton figured out ways to be effective without scoring. He's still not in the shot. We know that. Dropped in 27 two days ago. But then the drive, baseline, able to get two feet in. And then the all-around game, rebounding, helping out your bigs, and then the quick outlet pass. How can you be effective when you're on the court when you're not just scoring the basketball? I think we've gotten away from point guard play saying, I can score, yes, but I can set up. I can play defense, I can rebound, and I'm a coach on the floor. So we've seen that this evening with Tristan Newton. When you look at Tristan Newton, can you quantify what his value would be as an NBA player? Quantify, meaning, what's the money like for a kid like him? Well, look at what, and I'm not putting him in the same category, but look at what Tyrese Halliburton was able to do, mm. okay? They were mature veterans when they came out of college. We out of Iowa out, State. Out of Iowa State. He went to a team you had to figure some things out, but because he plays point guard first, but then his shooting and scoring kind of followed. He's a natural leader. Look at what Tyrese Halliburton has turned himself into with the opportunity with the patient. Now, again, Tristan Newton has a long way to go, but you're talking about value-wise? That's a value add in the NBA when you have a trusted point guard. He's got eight points, 14 rebounds, nine assists in 33 minutes, and only two turnovers. Newton. 4 5 to go. Turn around, jumper in the paint. Bamba with the rebound. Can't stick it back. Loose. Picked up. Top of the arc. Halsey. Rims out. He can't buy a basket. Another rebound for Newton. He has a career high 15. 343 to go. Can he get that triple double? Let's see. Castle. Newton. Needs two and a dime. Newton. Inside. And I think he knows what his numbers are. I think he knows what his numbers are. Yeah, but he'll been better off shooting that because he had a better look at the rim and clean and rolling even if he missed it. So you still need the two to get to that double digit number. <laughs> know that. Gilligan has had a great night. Klingon, solid. 65-48 national champ. What does it mean to be rich? Maybe rich is less about... It, it is. I mean, it's... It, it already, already is. It's already, Excuse me. It's already bananas. Now, so you bring in the powerhouse in the lineage of Arizona. It's going to be interesting to see how they recruit. Can they tap into the South a little bit more now that they're in the Big 12 or some of those, you know, the Kansases, the Texases, to make sure they tap into those areas with this realignment. Different story right now. Kyle Neptune, he can just only watch as his team 
trails in this game, 65 to 49. Armstrong second free throw is good. And you see a little pressure right now is going to be employed by Villanova to see if they can get a turnover. They have to get something easy, a little trap, but UConn did an excellent job of passing right through it. Spencer, loose handle on the baseline. And a timeout called by the Huskies. Let's take a look at the AP Top 10 here in college basketball. UConn, number one, followed by Houston. Purdue, third, Arizona, moving to the Big 12. All guys have to face each other. I want to see Klingon and Edie in the yeah, final four. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You love the Cinderella's like right at the beginning, the upset parts of it. But it's something magical, too, about when the big boys begin to play each other. The drama that ensues in the matchup. Oh, beautiful play. Castle and foul. Oh, would have been an assist for Newton. And the remaining schedule for Villanova. Well, Georgetown, it, you know, again, you say is that an easy way to depend. You know, at Providence, at Seton Hall. Come on, man. Those last three are a gauntlet. And, but that's the position that you put yourself in if you're Kyle Neptune and Villanova with some games that you dropped early. And now in the back end, you got to try to salvage those wins. Can they get in? Well, you know, here, here's the thing. you got to win, I, I would say, two out of four of those games on the back end and then win, get to maybe the semis of the Big East tournament. Now, a lot's dependent upon what happens at other conferences. We see Washington State making a move in, in the Pac-12 right now. That could suck up a bid if they were ap happen to win some games. So it kind of takes it out of Villanova's hands at times. Ooh, our shot gliding to the hole. But here's something interesting, folks, on Tristan Newton. He needs one assist and two points for triple-double. We checked some of the services. If he's minus 200, meaning you have to bet 200 bucks to get 100 about him getting a triple-double. No call on the play. With 232 to go. This might be the hardest two points and one assist of his life right now. But there's action on it. Jimmy, you had two triple-doubles, both in the NBA. Yeah, I did it without knowing about it. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I knew about it. He <laughs> <laughs> about to lie. Nah. Look at you sitting around yeah. lying. Yeah. On <laughs> and, you know, it's ironic. Guess who my coach was when I had it? Uh, in the NBA? Yeah. Pat Ryan. No, Coach Calipari. Oh, Coach so Calipari. It happened within a couple weeks of each other. Cal had me running the point. I was loving every minute. I, I can't say nothing bad about Cal to me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's in question for Dixon. Down to 13 with 223 left. Can you give enough stops? Is it double teaming coming off right now? Here's Newton. Draws a double team. Cross court. Caravan. Newton again. They want it in his hands. Two minutes to play. And a foul. And that will send Newton to the line to shoot one and one. The remaining schedule for Dan Hurley squad. Um, I mean, at home, it's not going to be easy at Marquette and at Providence to end the season. Again, you know Big East play. You can't take any of these games for granted. One game at a time, you have a three one-game series. That's how you look at it. Here we go. Newton. Here we go. Needs two points and one assist for triple-double. He's an 80% free-throw shooter. Got the first one. Remember, minus 200. They need to bet 200 bucks to win 100. My, his calling sports changed over the years. Well, yeah, now you can really talk about the over, under, and spreads, whereas before it would be subliminal a little bit through some broadcast. I think we know who I'm talking about. If you're building the thing. milkshake. Then, yeah, right? He's us. An assist away from a triple-double. Stolen. Spencer, he's got Kling and Traylon. Leaves it for him. Foul from behind. And Dan Early says, get up. 
as he looks over at his crowd. You know what's interesting about Kyle Neptune and the challenge he has moving forward with us because the landscape of college basketball has changed. What made Villanova so special was recruiting the right players that you can grow two, three, four years. And then you have freshmen come in and learn from them. It's changed. Now it's transfer portal. And I just leaving. hope that the brain trust at Villanova understands that this is a building process. Exactly. He is a young coach. He does have immense talent, and it's going to take time. And that you can't judge him based on what Coach Jay Wright did and how he built his team because the landscape is totally different. Out of bounds, and it's Connecticut basketball, 130 to go. UConn. Barring some kind of miracle, will win this game, 71-54. But the story underneath the story is Tristan Newton now. One assist away from his fourth career triple-double. Most in UConn history. Shabazz Napier is next with two. Newton has three. So they were looking for to see who the ball, not the foul, but who the ball was, went out of bounds on. That's what they were looking for. And a foul, Castle. Foul in the backcourt by Bamba. Fans not happy. Dixon, Hawson back in the game. Stephon Castle had back to back 20 point games three weeks ago 20 against Providence, career high 21 against St. John's. How about Rick Pitino? Good play. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. it's safe to say he was not pleased with the way his team performed uh, against Seton Hall. No, they were a little slow on defense, according to Rick. Just, <laughs> just, Laterally. He, but, you know, he apologized. He was, I think he got caught in the moment. Kind of put his young man out there, you know, as a coach. Later came back. He and, yep, out. and he apologized. Armstrong. Here's Newton with another rebound. He's an assist away from a triple-double. 118 to go. Villanova picking up in the backcourt. Castle. Baseline. Spencer. Newton. Everybody knows they told him to shoot it. Kalagan. Oh, the front rim, no. <laughs> when Karen, Alice Carabin didn't shoot it, the whole problem was like, shoot! Boy. Yeah. Rebound, Castle. Maybe the last chance right here for Newton to get that triple double. And the fans may sense it as they rise to their feet. Guarded by Bamba. Here's Killer Cam. Newton takes his time. One assist away. Newton the kick. And you made the point to Caravan at that point was 0 for 7. Okay? 0 for 7. And he had some open shots, but he was able to knock in one of the bigger ones, man. Oh, man. Hey. Heads update the standing in the Big East. 
15 to 2 said, you know, it's, it's interesting. Trying to separate a little bit more again. One of the goals. Goal one. You can win the regular season. So they're on the way to kind of check that box. Again, a lot of work to do left. You can't take the end of the season for granted. But the way they're playing right now, great rebound and response to a disappointing game against Creighton. And that's not taking anything away from Creighton because of the way they play. But the response was there. And they've been able to respond after losses. When they lost to Kansas, they came back and they beat North Carolina. And that was the second triple-double of the season for Newton. Had one against Manhattan. Yeah, not losing two in a row again. I think the game was lost to Seton Hall. You come back and beat St. John's, and now you lose to Creighton. And you're able to respond right away to end that at just one game and not let it linger on. 12.7 to go. The Yukon Huskies will improve their record to 25 and 3, 15 and 2 in the conference. They bounce back from that disappointing loss to Creighton. Cam Spencer for 25 points on 9 of 13 shooting. And Tristan Newton with his fourth career.